Hi there, Court and Micah. Yes, we learned of this indictment from President Trump himself. He posted to Truth Social that he has been summoned to appear at a Miami federal courthouse on Tuesday afternoon. Now, this marks the first time a former president has been indicted at a federal level. I'm an innocent man. I'm an innocent person. It's called election interference. They're trying to destroy your reputation so they can win an election. Former President Donald Trump took to social media to respond to being indicted by a federal grand jury for allegedly mishandling classified documents after he left the White House. The FBI allegedly found some of those documents during a raid at Mar-a-Lago last summer. Trump posted on Truth Social, saying in part, the corrupt Biden administration has informed my attorneys that I have been indicted seemingly over the boxes hoax, even though Joe Biden is 1,850 boxes at the University of Delaware, additional boxes in Chinatown, D.C., with even more boxes at the University of Pennsylvania, and documents strewn all over his garage floor where he parks his Corvette. I think at this point the indictment was predictable. Political experts say they're not surprised to hear reports that Trump may be facing seven counts, including conspiracy and obstruction. If we're right about the charges, they do carry prison time with them. That, of course, there's a long line between an indictment, a conviction, and then a sentencing. She says the indictment will not prevent him, though, from continuing to run for president. Politically, I do not think that this will hurt the former president with his base. If anything, it might help him. And let's remember that legally he could be convicted and he could serve time while he's serving as president. And if he does get elected, she says he could possibly pardon himself. We've never seen anything like that before, but a self-pardon could be on the table. As for election interference, this was President Joe Biden's response to that question earlier today before news of the indictment broke. Because you notice I have never once not one single time suggested to the Justice Department what they should do or not do relative to bringing a charge or not bringing a charge. I'm honest. The federal probe into President Joe Biden's handling of classified documents is still ongoing, while former Vice President Mike Pence's has reached a conclusion with no charges being filed. Micah? Mary Beth, thank you.